Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I do a lot of Cracky Hydroponic as well as DWC on my channel and one of the most requested video for me to do is to compare the two. Uh, people always ask which method grows vegetable better and uh, today I'm going to answer that question by doing the experiment so that you can see exactly what's happening. So here I have two containers of the exact same size and to speed up the video, I have already gone ahead and pH balanced the nutrients uh, to the exact level. And uh, they're right now sitting at 5.7, which is perfect. Uh, usually when I mix nutrients, um, I usually pH it between 5.5 through 5.9. Uh, a little bit over is okay, but don't go under 5.5. Right now it's sitting at 5.7, so which is uh, a perfect number for us to test with. So what I'm going to do here is uh, take some of these lettuce here that I've been growing as microgreens and uh, we're going to select ones that are the same size and then I'm going to mix the nutrients exactly the same way and then we're going to grow one in DWC with the air pump and one with just cracky. So then we can compare the difference so uh, you can see which uh, method works best so that you can do it on your own. So uh, let me go ahead and remove uh, two plants out of here. Uh, this is just a to-go container that I, uh, I'm using right now. So uh, we'll, I'll go ahead and pick two nice ones, wash it up. Um, I'll make sure they're the exact same size and then I'll come back and show you. All right guys, I have two lettuce plants here that are the exact same size right here. And I have separated it and remove the, uh, the, the excess soil and all that stuff. So what we're gonna do first before we put uh, the plants in is to mix the nutrients here exactly the same way. So what I'm using here is the Dynagro 795 and I'm gonna add five milliliter to each of this. And what I'm gonna use here to measure is this um, five milliliter medicine dropper here and that will give me the exact measurement for one teaspoon, which is five milliliter there. There it is. Let me do that one. And then same for that one. Okay, just mix it up evenly. All right, next what we're gonna do is add our plant. So I'll go ahead and put the cover on top. And this one here has the hole there. So we're gonna add air to that. And this one here, we're gonna just grow it cracky method. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to grab a rock wool cube and we're gonna add our plant into it. Just slice it down the middle here. And then we'll grab one of the plant. And just add it to the cube like so. And then we're gonna drop it in here. Make sure the water make contact with the, the rock wool cube so that the plant can stay alive. And we'll do the same for this one. So be careful not to damage the plant in any way. And then I will drop it in here. Just shake it up a little bit so that um, the water can make contact with the cube. So that it can keep the keep nice and wet. Just to make sure we just check it. Alright, we are all set now, so we're gonna go ahead and put this under our light. All 
All right, guys, the plants are sitting under my grow light right now. And what I'm using here is the Hidden Harvest Company grow light. And uh, Brad, the owner of this company, ha actually has a YouTube account. And uh, he occasionally would comment on some of my videos. So he's one of my viewers. Uh, you guys should check him out. I'll provide all the information to uh, uh, Brad's company and you can go there and watch his videos and all that stuff so you can see what the lights are capable of. Uh, it's a very cool light unit, very lightweight and uh, I love the, the white light because it's very similar to my Arrow Garden which I use very often. If you guys follow me, you know I love my Arrow Garden. Uh, the lights are very... Um, uh, nice and bright and it, it's that kind of white light so it's not too straining on your eyes and that's one of the main reason I really like this type of light right here so this is uh, Hidden Harvest Company grow light so guys check them out I will uh, post all those links so the, the plants are sitting here uh, this one is gonna be uh, running with the air pump so let me go ahead and hook the air pump up so that you can see alright guys here it is the uh, the pump is hooked up and let me show you you see there, there's bubble action going on. And this side is just nothing. It's just going to be a cracky setup. So that is how it's going to be for about uh, a few weeks. Um, I will come back and show you progress uh, once uh, the plants grow a little bit more. And uh, we'll see which one grows the best. This is the DWC with the airstone. And this is just the cracky with just uh, nutrients and the plant. All right, guys, I forgot one more thing. Um, I just placed some pebbles here on both of them to sort of like prevent algae from growing on top of the rock wool and that's basically all the, the pebbles are going to do but there's no purpose else in this uh, setup right now and I also rearranged the, uh, the container to uh, uh, sort of like be this way because I want it to be fair there's a light right next to it that I'm using to grow microgreens and I don't want uh, you know to the plant to have a certain advantage if I put it like side by side so I think this way would be a more fair comparison um, this is no scientific uh, uh, test or anything like that I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, uh, things that I'm missing but I'm trying to make it as fair as possible that, so that you guys can see the difference alright guys it has been exactly 10 days and the plants are not showing any sign that they're different they're growing at the same rate and uh, they're basically the same size so um, in the beginning when the plants come out of hydropon I mean come out of soil into hydroponic it does take a bit of time to recover and uh, get adjusted so after the 10 days into the two weeks it's gonna start growing much faster so um, uh, in the next update you're gonna see these guys take off so uh, this is 10 days so far I will be back soon alright guys welcome back it has been exactly 24 days and uh, there is a noticeable difference so let me turn off the uh, the pump so you can hear me talking better okay so after 24 days there is a noticeable difference right here and I really don't know because initially when I started the experiment, I thought that the um, the DWC method would grow much faster. But um, it looks like the <laughs> cracky setup is actually doing a lot better. Um, I know that this experiment is, um, isn't a perfect experiment. And there's probably a lot of flaws in my method. But um, I try my best to pick the plants at the same time, same size, and I try not to damage the roots and all that stuff. Maybe somewhere along the way, that plant was a, a little bit more damaged or something. But um, it turned out this one's growing better. So um, I guess even with my flaw experiment, you can see that with growing lettuce, you really don't need all the fancy equipment. Um, just the cracking method with a very simple container and doing it the proper way which is you know get the water level correctly and then nutrients level and pH and they will grow so uh, in leafy green I would say growing it the cracking method 
is the simplest uh, and most uh, costly and you really don't have to go out of your way to buy extra equipment like the, uh, the air pump and all that. But I'm very confident that if you're growing something else like uh, something that lasts uh, a very long time, I would say that uh, having bubbles and feeding air to the roots would be uh, much more ideal. Anyway, <laughs> let me show you the root system so that you can see what's going on down there. So we'll start with the non-circulation method, also known as the cracking. Look at this. That is some really nice healthy roots there. And uh, the water level really didn't drop that much. So let me show you. You see that? There's still nutrients um, way up here. So much, a lot left actually. So I, we started out with a gallon and uh, now it really just drank a little of it right there. So there's a lot more nutrients to feed the plant. And um, so let me, uh, so I didn't mention that I'm doing this in my garage and the temperature is quite cool. So let me show you the temperature reading. So here it is, it's around 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's quite chilly. And uh, at this temperature, uh, plants don't grow as fast as they do when it's slightly warmer, like in the 65 and 70s, uh, or even 75, lettuce will grow really well at that temperature. So in, in the 50s right here, they do uh, grow a little bit slower. So that's why um, in 24 days, this is all they grown. So uh, that, that is most likely due to temperature. And I'm guessing that this one, because it's a lot smaller, um, the nutrients probably hasn't been used up that much. And I'm really shocked that this is all that has grown from this plant. Because DWC to me um, would just make the plants grow much better because everything is being fed here. The plants get all the oxygen it needs. So uh, I'm not sure why, maybe it's, as again, as I mentioned, it is a flaw experiment and, and maybe somehow I damaged the roots or something along the way that happened that caused delay in the plant. So really here, there is a, a lot more uh, nutrients left than the, uh, the cracking method because of course the plant is much smaller. So, and, and you can see the root system is also a lot less. So let me give you a comparison side by side. So you can see. So the two plants are quite different in growth. And here's the root system for both of them. So look at that guys. There is a huge difference there. Uh, even with the cracking method without air bubbles being fed to the plant the roots are nice and healthy and white and, uh, and grows quite well. So there you have it guys. If you are growing lettuce or leafy greens, um, anything that grow in a matter of 30 days without having to refill, I would say use the cracking method. And uh, anything that takes much longer time like peppers and uh, tomatoes or something like that, the fruiting plants that take uh, way more than 30 days, then maybe I would use uh, the DWC method. Although I have seen impressive results uh, with peppers grown in a huge, huge container um, cracking method. Uh, if you check out Peter Stanley and Matt Garver's channel, you will see that they have like 50 gallons or 100 gallons, I believe, trash can that they use to grow peppers and squash and tomatoes the entire season without uh, having to refill. And, and they do just fine. And again, I, re I realize that the experiment is, uh, there's a lot of flaws in it. So I apologize for that in advance for those that, I mean, some people get really serious about this guy. So um, just 
<laughs> take this as just a way for me to show you that Cracky can work with uh, leafy green just fine. And uh, that's it. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, try it out for yourself. And if you have better results, please let me know. And uh, or if you want me to do the experiment again, and maybe if I do it again, I may do more plants than just one because one is just not enough to give you the proper results. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.